Okay, so here we are, and we want to showcase this sweet software Darren was talking about that would allow us to use one mouse and one keyboard for multiple multiple machines. Excuse me. What is it, Darren? It's called Synergy, and as you said, you're right. It's like it's the software that'll let you take a mouse and a keyboard and rule them all with it. Okay. So, now, first things first. You know, obviously we use a lot of Windows, but you know, there's people that use open source and Mac users. Is it cross-platform? Can we use this? Totally cross-platform. That's what we've got set up here. We've got a Windows machine. We have a uh, Mac Mini, courtesy of our camera guy, Paul. Yay, Paul, the camera Thank guy. Thank you. And we've got your uh, laptop here running Gen 2. Right. So, uh, and we've got them all networked together on the same LAN. And using Synergy, we have a server running on the Mac Mini. Mm -hmm. It could be on any of these, but we've got it running on the Mac Mini. And we've got clients running on the Windows and the Gen 2 box. And those all communicate. And using the network, we're able to emulate the keyboard and mouse so that we only have one set, uh, one pair of keyboard and mouse on the desk and then three monitors. So the way that this software works is that on the server, you will tell it, uh, on this machine, we've told it that the Windows machine is to the right of it and that the Linux machine is to the left of it. So that when you move the mouse across the left side of the screen, it will come into the right side of the Linux machine and vice versa. So you, you can move your mouse you know, across as if it was one big extended desktop and uh, that way whatever your cursor is on becomes the active machine that your keyboard will accept input from or okay. your c computer will accept the keyboard from yeah so so I can you know I can just I can work on this machine I can work on that machine and right. go between my web server my web developer and my graphics editor whatever yeah, you can get a lot of is this is perfect for multitaskers that are running multiple operating systems in fact it'll you know I've got two windows machines on my desk and they mm -hmm. work great I've got my editing box and I've got my development box and I'm going back and forth right, between yeah. them I've and they the do run I've, seen, I've seen the uber micro for that and they run at different resolutions but the coolest thing is it approximates because I have three monitors that are all the same exact same bank uh, size right you know um, it emulates where they should be okay so if I if I'm running if I'm running 1024 by 768 in this monitor and I want to go to the monitor on the right hand side that's and running I, at 1280. By 1024, I can go through the right-hand corner out, and I end up in the left-hand corner in. Top left, yeah. Exactly. Awesome. awesome. Fantastic. Now, we're talking about using one keyboard and one mouse for three different machines. Now, all of these machines have some kind of login process, Control-Alt-Delete, you know, just regular user and whatever OS X uses because I've never touched it. You know, when I reboot, will I be able to use that same single mouse and keyboard to log into sure. these machines? Sure. Uh, with Windows, for the control delete, it's actually control out pause. Okay. okay. And uh, as for starting up, I think what you're asking is, uh, do I still need a keyboard and mouse attached to the other machines besides the server? Right, right, yeah. And the answer is no. Um, now, I still keep a keyboard attached to one of my machines because it won't get past BIOS without a keyboard, unfortunately. But, you know, it gives the, the old keyboard error, press F1 to continue, which I love. Or any key. Yeah, any key, yeah. I love so, that. Um, Where's the any key? Anyway, um, no, you don't need to have a keyboard and mouse attached to each machine if they don't need it. Because you can set up on Windows, it has a service so that it starts up on boot and it'll be, you know, running when you get to the login screen. Same thing with the Mac. There's three different ways to do it that are illustrated on the website. Mm -hmm. And with X, uh, with um, Linux, it's uh, an X configuration. Okay, so, yeah, I have your, like, x11.com or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Okay, so since we're running all of this over the network, is there any kind of network security issues? Now, granted, well, this is all on the LAN, so I'm not worried about it. You're not going to run be running some kind of packet sniffer on me, nor right, I mean, you. I wouldn't be setting up three different laptops at a you know at a Starbucks or something, and you know hoping that <laughs> somebody's not like listening to my packets. Uh, I don't think what they say on the website is uh, don't run this on an untrusted network because right. there is no authentication and there is no encryption. So if you're like in a dorm environment and uh, you're worried, you're a little paranoid about somebody uh, sniffing your keyboard and mouse traffic, they could actually do that. However, you can use SSH to secure okay. it. Just got to make sure that you do SSH with port forwarding, and I believe it's port uh, 24800. Right. And, you know, we've, we've talked about port forwarding and SSH before on previous episodes, and we'll have links in the uh, show notes to some other, um, you know, SSH uh, servers okay. that will run on various uh, operating systems. But yeah, it, by default, the software is not secure. I'm running it here in the studio. The only I know everybody on this land. Right, you're yeah. on the land. I'm on the land. Paul's on the land. Yeah. What a so I mean, you're not sniffing my packets, are you? No, 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 no. Never. Thanks. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. But seriously, so 
All right, so Synergy has proven to be like a really, really versatile, really good program. It'll it's really change your life. Oh yeah, it, it's 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 fantastic for jumping between machines and not having to go like like I do right now. I have to like roll my chair around and go from keyboard to mouse, whatever. Right. Now, our friend Rob had had two, two sets of keyboard and mice on his desk. You know, one that he'd pull under and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's, it's like, like that's ridiculous. Yeah, well, it, you know, it, it serves a purpose to an extent, but th then there's just like why not, not just tie it all together? Yeah. So. I mean, so we, we've gone through all these three machines now. Is there any other features that you'd really like to highlight that are just really, really cool sure. that would look really good? Okay, this is the one thing that blew my mind. You know, as well as the fact that it just works seamlessly and beautifully, it has a clipboard that works between all three systems. So if you were in XChat on uh, your Gen 2 box and you wanted to copy and paste something over to your uh, Mac machine, you would just copy it over here, come mm -hmm. over here, paste it, and it will work. You like you say like you're wow. working in Photoshop and or like you got a web page open and on the Windows mm -hmm. machine, you want to like paste it into GIMP, copy, paste, images, text, they work seamlessly across Beautiful. all platforms. So so like the clipboard is cross platform, cross network. I can go from here to there, there to here, here to anywhere. It makes it so that these three machines don't feel like three separate machines. It just feels like your working environment. It doesn't wow. matter what o OS it is. So That is beautiful. Beautiful. And I'll make sure that I install Synergy. Well, it's obviously on my laptop. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to put it on my Windows box so I can go jump between the two because I'm yeah. tired of having to jump back and forth. Exactly. I mean, if you're thinking about making the change, if you're thinking about making the switch, but you can't, you know, really. Like, like the Mac Mini is a perfect example of a reason why you want to use Synergy is because, you know, I love the Mac Mini. I've been thinking about really getting Mac Mini. It's either that or the Mac book but um, if I get a Mac Mini I'm totally setting it up on my LAN and I'm totally gonna be using Synergy so that I can slowly make the transition right and slowly get into the reality distortion field that is Mac but <laughs> <laughs> anyway I am Steve Jobs and you will do what I say okay so we can bounce back and forth between the you know all machines using the clipboard that Synergy has built in which is incredible now what about like gaming you know FPS shooters, you're using your mouse, you're going back and forth with the keyboard, it's Definitely. crazy. Now, what happens if I smack the mouse too far? You know, I ran into the same exact problem. I was playing on the Hack5 UT server, and I was getting some frags on, but it wasn't really happening. When I would go too far left, I'd look a little too mm -hmm. far left. My, my screen, my, it would actually come out of the machine and go into the next machine, and my Aww. game would minimize, yeah. So I found out, reading the website, that actually there's a workaround for that, and if you press scroll lock, whatever your mouse Whatever machine your mouse is currently on active, mm -hmm. it locks you onto that machine. Wow. So if you're doing any That's FPS cool. gaming, yeah. lock yourself in with with uh, scroll lock and that way you won't or run out. Or if you're like really machines. involved in what are you working on, like I know I've done it before, like you know, you get really involved and you just start slinging the, the mouse zone. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, like you're in the zone. Now like, one of those stupid things, it's so stupid and silly, but I have fun with it, is that like my, my screensavers. It'll actually sync them all. It'll sync really? all your screensavers so that all three go on at the same time. And you can actually configure, I haven't done this myself, but you supposedly the website says that you configure it so that one login will log into all three machines at once. Nice. So that's kind of a cool feature that I haven't really delved into, but they say that it's available that's at... Cool. Uh, I think that'd just be like something you have to research or anything. Right, and, and the website is synergy2.sourceforge.net, and it's licensed under the GNU GPL. Okay, so it is an open source it's project. It's open source, and we heart open source here at yes. Hack5. We heart open source. So, I do believe I'm out, out of Corvathia, so this segment's going to have to end here. Yes. So, let's go see what Ali's doing, because I've got a mod coming up, which is, like, cool, because I did some stuff. But let's go check out th this month's trivia. Thank you. Yes.